welcome back or welcome to the channel today we're gonna see how to achieve this glowing outline effect in adobe after effects under five minutes oh we're keeping it short today now this is actually called the saber effect because that's the name of the free plugin we're gonna use to achieve this so first of all make sure you head up to videocopilot.net and download your free plugin no matter if you're on a windows computer or on a mac select which version of after effects you're using and click install this effect got pretty popular with car videos for some reason and I've actually used it myself in a bunch of client projects and the good news is it's super easy to use. So I have this piece of stock footage over here and I would like to recreate this effect on the car's headlights the moment the headlight turns on. So first of all we're gonna have to duplicate this footage and if you're on Windows you're gonna have to hit Ctrl D or Command D on a Mac. And now we have two versions of the same footage. Next I'm gonna look for that exact frame where the headlights turn on basically here and I'm gonna hit command shift D on Mac or control shift D on Windows to cut the clip and then delete the part before that. Now with the top clip selected I'm gonna go up here to pen tool and I'm gonna start creating a rough mask around the headlight. You can be as specific as you want you can always just adjust this. I think that's pretty fine but I'm gonna hold option on Mac or Alt on Windows to make these corners a bit rounded. Now the more time you spend with your mask the better the effect will look of course. After that make sure you click V on your keyboard to go back to your selection tool and then go over here and open your mask and right click on your mask the one you just created and hit track mask. Now your tracking options have just opened on your right over here. If you don't see this, go under window and under tracker and make sure you select it. Depending on what exactly you're using this effect on, if you go under here under method, you're gonna wanna use either position scale rotation or the next one position scale rotation and skew. Those two are the ones that kinda work for me in my projects. For today I'm gonna use the one by default position scale and rotation. Once you have your tracker at the beginning of that video, just click play. And then After Effects will just do the magic. Now I'm glad this happened because it can happen to you as well. This is quite common, the mask not tracking exactly how you want. And also I didn't want to make the effect until the end of the video. So we're going to do two things right now. I'm going to open the mask over here and I'm going to delete these last marks. Actually for me it was quite at the beginning so I'm going to delete all of these and get the pen tool and just adjust the mask a little bit and try to track it again. Again I'm going to delete these last keyframes. Now the next thing to do is to go under effects and presets and type saber and drag it on your footage. And yes, it should look like this, don't worry, you didn't do anything wrong. And the two most important things we gotta do on the settings panel over here is go under customize core and select layer masks and then all the way down to render settings and go up here and select transparent. There you go, we're almost there. The cool thing is that up here under preset you get so many effects to play with but kind of the most popular one is the neon effect. So I'm just gonna go with that for this example. But I really don't like this color so I'm just gonna go up here to change the color to some this neon green I kinda like. We're gonna play with some of these. First of all put start size under zero. Make sure your tracker is all the way at the beginning. And then make on mask evolution click on this stopwatch to create a keyframe. Then go at the end of your video or the end of the animation in my case over here and go back to mask evolution and just change this first value to maybe two, four, whatever fits you best. I'm just gonna put three. Of course you can always come back to this one and just see how it looks. Just make, give it a first play and see how it looks. That looks pretty cool to me. Now if this works for you, awesome. Use it as it is. But I like to add a few extra tweaks. I'm gonna go here under start offset and put 50. And as you can see, now we have a bit less of the line. We have a bit more travel time. And over here under end size, I'm gonna write 150. 
And on the core softness, I'm just gonna put maybe 10, whatever works for you. This just gives the line a bit more softness, of course. And as you can see, this is what we achieved. To be honest, I'm satisfied with it. And the easiest way to get rid of it at the end here, because it doesn't end how I would like, is to make sure the top video is selected. Hit T on the keyboard for opacity. Make a keyframe over here by hitting the stopwatch. And then just go a couple of frames further and put zero on the, under the value. And there you go. Awesome. That's pretty much what I wanted. I hope you can see how creative you can get with this. So you can pretty much use it on anything you can mask and track in After Effects. This was a short one today, but I hope you learned something or got inspired for your next project. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.